you know, what do you do when you have really negative karma? Like you just, it, you feel like you're oppressed, like you're heavy, like maybe something is sitting on top of your head or something like that, right? So what do you do? So there have been uh, a few people who have asked this question. There are certain archetypes that are very good at um, getting rid of negative karma. The first one is Ganesha. Ganesha is the elephant head god. You might have seen him from the east. Um, and he's all about removing obstacles. And the great thing about Ganesha is that he removes all obstacles it doesn't, uh, or all negativity. So it doesn't matter where it's coming from, if it's planetary, if it's from your space, your neighbors, whatever, you know, he removes all of that. He is a great obstacle. He's known as the obstacle remover. He's popularly known as the obstacle remover, but he re removes all types of negative karma. So you can chant the Ganesha mantra. And in the description of this video, I will provide some links to audios where you can download these mantras and you can uh, play them as audios and, and listen to them and things of that nature, okay? So that that's, number one is Ganesha. Number two is Durga. Durga, you probably have seen a picture. She is um, a goddess from the East, uh, particularly India, I believe. Uh, she might be in other, um, other countries in the East as well. I don't know. <laughs> but you, have, you may have seen an image of her sitting on a lion or a tiger, and she has eight arms. And in each arm, except for maybe one, or each hand that she has, she has a weapon. Um, there's a little bit of mythology behind it, but the basic of the mythology is that there was you know, some demon that was attacking the gods and making life miserable and horrible, and the gods couldn't defeat it. And so they put their uh, weapons together and up rose Durga, okay? So she has like all the weapons of the gods and, and whatnot. And I've even heard that she will even fight uh, battles against demons. So demons are just negativity, right? It's negative karma. Remember, negative karma has to do with your thoughts, um, Primarily, it's in the brain. Uh, that's what Dr. Pillai talks about. And I have other videos that you know explain a little bit more about what negative karma is. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I, I heard something about her. Uh, she'll even sip wine while she's <laughs> while she's uh, destroying demons. You know, she just has that kind of finesse about dealing with demons. But she's really good. Her mantra is doom. Her her what we call a, a seed mantra or a bija mantra is doom. Okay. Doom. The wonderful thing about that, if for you scientific people, if you're more scientific and you're not really into the whole God and Goddess thing, that's okay. You can definitely chant these mantras for that. Remember that mantras are sounds. And the wonderful thing about a about uh, about the Doom mantra is that it resonates at such a frequency that negativity cannot exist in the same space. So you want to make sure that you know when you're going through some negative karmic issue, you want to chant doom um, as one of the options, or you could just do Ganesha's mantra as well. Another archetype that's really good is uh, Shadaba. His name is Shadaba. He is a form of Shiva. Shiva is considered to be a supreme being um, in the East and in, in India. Also, uh, you may have seen images of him sitting in a meditative state with his legs crossed, or I, mean, I think it's the lotus position they call it. Um, and he might look like he's kind of, his eyes may not be like fully open, but kind of like this, like he's kind of in another world or something like that. That's Shiva. Um, you might also see like a crescent moon on his head and he's wearing a, a tiger type skin. Okay, kind of very mod uh, modestly dressed, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, um, Shadaba, it, Shiva's aspect of Shadaba is a little bit different. He's more like a lion head and a different kind of body, and I forget what the body is, but he looks very menacing. And the great thing about the Shadaba mantra is that, uh, as Dr. Pillai explains, it is like a nuclear bomb to negativity, okay? Like if you really need to eradicate some stuff and you know, heavy duty things, like for example, I've heard of people who have had, um, you know, possible ghost or something, you know, going on in their homes or maybe someone has the evil eye or has put something on you or whatever it is. Or maybe you're just having a really bad day and it just seems like nothing is going well. Um, then you want to uh, chant the Shadaba Mantra. My favorite Shadaba Mantra, it has been put to music uh, and it is offered in an album called Dancing with Shiva. Um, and I have played that. My personal experience is that I've played that mantra um, with music about three or four times. I was having a migraine headache actually. And it just, it, it really brought the, the pain of that migraine down a lot. 
So that's another option. When you're dealing with heavy negativity, you can just chant a mantra, you know, a Ganesha mantra, a, a, a Durga mantra, or Shadaba mantra. Shadaba's mantra, the one that I'm gonna share with you, is a little bit long, so it's hard for me to go through, and I don't, I have to have it in front of me to, to really read it to you. But I will provide the, the um, you know, what it is and, and, and a helpful video to help you learn more about it, okay?